Nice weather. Mate. Yeah, that looks good. And the antifouls held well. There's a couple of places where there were probably some drips of water, the way it looks. It probably was a little bit damp when I painted the vinyl. But most of it is good. What's going on there then, Hazel? Um, putting vinyl primer on all the things that aren't black. Right, yeah. Helps the anti fell to, to bond to it. That's good. Keep walking in the wrong direction. Don't know to where I've been Encouraged by my inhibitions Blinded by what I've seen I'm heading back to where I'm going Back to who knows where and when Through the monsters of my own worst daydreams On my way to their hand then Still I keep on moving On the path of no return Keep on winning as I'm losing Watching my bridges burn, 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 burn What's over there? Yeah Yeah, yeah, or yeah I think that looks pretty good. The significance of that is that she's registered now, so I've got the official papers on her, and that is her home harbour, Lüneburg, which is the big town nearest to where we live, and is on the Elbe Zeiten Canal, so it's on the German inland canal network, so you're allowed to use it as a as a harbour town. Yeah, the rules are that you, they need to be any town that you register a boat as having its home harbour there. It needs to be accessible by water and, and Lüneburg is so cool. So it's time to drill some holes in the boat, which is always a scary business. I want to mount this swim ladder and uh I don't know if you see those crosses, but I've marked four crosses and run around with a tape measure trying to work out where they come through and uh, <laughs> I hope it's good. Uh, gonna drill one hole and find out where it comes through. Well, there it is. It's time to go up into the Lazarette and see where that's come through. <laughs> oh, it's scary. 
I don't know if that shows up on this camera, but there it is. That's a really good spot. The other one is going to be 26 centimeters after that, which will be not so ideal. That's going to be somewhere in here. It'll be a bit tricky. But we have to manage. 26 after there is going to come through somewhere in there. some of this away so I've got the hammer and chisel just taking a bit away from the frame in here it's turned into a bit of a boat project that looks, looks quite good though it's not too shabby Holes, which you don't want. So, uh, what is it? Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Well, Wednesday lunchtime now. Up at the boat, obviously. Uh, launching next Tuesday, so a week, roughly. And uh, up here doing quite a lot. So, I drilled some holes for the swim ladder yesterday, and and it was inevitable that that they were a couple of them would be tricky, and and indeed a couple are. I sort of knew there would be. There's no way I'd get through into that lazarette without coming close to a frame or in an awkward corner. But I've been up there and I've been up here this morning and I've carved a couple of blocks. And uh, there's all sorts of vehicles rushing past here at the moment. And I've just epoxied them in place one there and one up in there somewhere. which give me enough to come through with a nice clear drill hole get a backing plate or a big washer on there so that's all going to be good um, done that what else did I want to say to you something else I've forgotten what it was ah yes <laughs> and you might remember many moons ago I was messing around with uh, the battery charger for my Bosch you know I use all these Bosch 12 volt uh, cordless tools and uh, I'm very pleased to say, well, I've known this for a while, but it's a massive success. There is the battery charger charging away. I've charged loads of batteries running over the 12 volts is in that cigarette lighter socket, uh, 12 volt socket. And nice sunny day today, so the solar is pumping and keeping the battery voltage nice and high. And that charges those little tall batteries, lovely and fairly quickly, the small ones. So it's all brilliant, you know, so I can work with cordless tools on the boat. I'm not plugged into shore power here, only working on my solar and 12 volt systems. And it's excellent, works, works great. So that is a massive success. Now, next thing to do is I'm going to run the cable to the autopilot plug. Um, because I've got the Lazarette emptied out and uh, I can get in there easily now. And then I'm going to put a bit of anti-foul on the grey that Hazel, the grey vinyl bonding coat that Hazel painted on yesterday. Get the first coat of anti-foul on that so that we're ready. And probably Friday, I guess, we'll come up, put the final coat of anti-foul on, peel the masking tape off. And then I'll just do a little bit of a touch up on the blue in a couple of places where it needs a little touch up. Um, and then we're ready. I'm looking at my pre-launch list. It says anti-fouling touch up hull swim ladder yeah so i hope also to drill and fill those holes for the swim ladders today i'll give that a couple of hours for the epoxy to set off on the wooden blocks then i'll drill them out bigger fill them and then friday we come up should be able to drill and mount the swim ladder as well so going very very well and if it doesn't work out that's friday Long weekend, obviously, if all the shops are shut, but we've got Friday, well, Saturday they're open. The Chandler's here doesn't open Saturdays, but normal shops are open. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all holidays, Tuesday's launch day. So plenty of time. Well on target, I believe. Phew.
possibly, because I've got some sick effects around me. Clearly I've got to tighten up that bracket at that end, which is still loose on the pin, but I'm quite pleased with that, looks good. Sounds powerful. That's it, full. That's good. front plates just to spread the load a little bit now we'll cut some bigger backing plates Yeah, it's all very tidy in there. Get in there and try and draw some of the Just draw some of the way through from this side and finish off from the other side. Well, that doesn't fit. Um, the problem I've got is I need some longer bolts, and uh, I stopped off in the shop on the way up and bought some A4 eight millimeter bolts, which is what I thought it was, but they turn out to be UNC or something. So the eight mil bolts don't go in there. So I've got to take it back to the workshop and make something up for that. Come up again another day. Time to anti foul now.
Yeah. Well, it's now time for the best job of all. <gasps> Masking tape peeling time. Oh my gosh. So, let's start back here. Oh, that's lovely. Nice crisp line, we like that. Perfect. Good masking like this. Good masking. Mm, for it's a line. For a few weeks and it just peels off those shots. Very tired. Yeah, I believe it's all ready. So, just pulled off the masking tape. Finished with anti fouling. Looks good, I think. Today is Saturday. She's splitting on Tuesday, so uh, I think my dad and I are coming up on Monday as well, so in two days to fit the swim ladder. We wanted to do that today, but it didn't really work out. We need different threaded bolts. But I think it's looking real nice. And what is it? This is anti -tally. Oh, it is. I thought I'd try to spray stuff on the rubber because the last stuff I put on the rubber didn't hold at all. So. It's a special anti for soldiers and aluminium, oh. generally. And why do you need a special one? Well, you can't have copper in it. Oh, okay. Otherwise it reacts. Yeah. Good, it? Yeah, shiny. Well, there you go. That's where we're leaving it for this week. It is, as you may hear, raining again. But um, we're all ready for the launch and uh, launch time is coming up and next week's video will indeed have that uh, and then getting ready to set off. So the, the, this year's cruising season is, is rapidly approaching now. I am very much looking forward to that. Anyhow, thank you for watching. As ever, you know, an enormous thank you to the lovely people who support these videos by Patreon and paypal.me or even on, what do they call it, the super thanks down here at the bottom of YouTube. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.